talking about how to get audio from your mixer, your mixing board, into your iPhone. Okay, so uh, this is something I did, a very popular video, probably my most popular video uh, the last couple months ago was how to do this and uh, using the headset buddy. And uh, you know what, I had the headset buddy and now I lost it. It's around here somewhere. I, I've got cables everywhere. If you wanna see how many cables I have, I have cables everywhere. And this is the mixing board that I'm gonna show you how to get this into. Um, you know, basically, here's the thing. If you wanna live stream, if you wanna do anything getting your, I bet it's in my pocket, you know? The headset, the headset buddy is a cable, a very special cable. And I've lost the, I've lost it. I don't know where it is. Uh, anyway, it's it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's on the floor. Thank thank goodness. Thank the Lord I found it. This is the headset buddy. I made a video about it, and I'm going to show you up close again. I'm going to go through several scenarios right here so that you can do this. If you have an Android, you have an iPhone. Some of you are asking me, like, well, you didn't do Android. You didn't do... Look, I'm going to give you the specific things that you can do with this thing, and then you're going to have to take your Android and your iPhone, and you're going to kind of have to figure it out uh, because you have to know exactly um, which cable to use. I've got all the cables here, okay? I've got all the cables here, and I'm going to show these to you up close. So let's see if we can get up close with this. Okay, so this is the headset buddy, okay? This is the headset buddy. This is a little blue cable, and you can find the links in the description of my videos. The headset buddy... Uh, turns it, it basically attenuates down the line level so uh, it basically I think it takes off some volume when you come out of a mixer like this or it, this is pretty complicated mixer but if you come out just a regular basic uh, mixing console into your iPhone it's too much it'll blow your iPhone out okay so you need this thing then I've got this this other little thing this little white thing right here this little white thing that that you need for an iPhone okay so if you got an Android you don't need this but let me show you one thing that will confuse you, and I will show you the difference between the three and the two. Because um, these cables here have, some of them have three and some of them have two. So I'm going to show you this cable. This cable has two little rings on it. You see that? That's two little rings. Now, this little cable has three little rings on it, okay? Three little rings. You see the difference? Let me hold them up together and show you the difference. So you have one cable has three little rings, one cable has two little rings. You know, so see that? The black one has two little rings and the gray one has three little rings. Now this gray thing right here is a Rode like SC3 or 4, okay? You can go on their website and check it out. What it does is it takes um, your basic mic and it puts it into your iPhone. So how you use this cable on your iPhone is you take this little dongle and you plug it in here and you plug that in there like that and you have that plugged in there, and then you take your headset buddy, and actually, actually, I don't even think you need this with a headset buddy, but if you come out of your mixer with like a little eighth inch jack thing like this, you plug the eighth inch jack into here, okay? So that's the chain of it. You gotta have all of those on the iPhone. Now on the Android, you just don't need this little white thing. You just need this. So you need this little cable here that puts it into three, you need this little cable that puts it into two, and on the other end of this cable, what you have is several ways to go into your mixer. So you come out of your mixer with like this, okay? So this cable comes out of your mixer. And if you are on my mixer, it has a left out, left right out up here, okay? That's one way to do it. That's one way to do it. Now, some other mixers have an RCA out up here. And if that's the case, then you're gonna need the RCA out connector. <clears throat> the best cable that I can say that I bought for this scenario, because you can use a lot of adapters and such like that, that's fine. I bought this big long cable. I bought a couple different ones. This big long cable has quarter inch outputs on one side, okay? So if your mixer has quarter inch outputs on the, on the main output, you quarter inch out and then it's got eighth inch stereo on the other side, okay? So let me try to hold that one up for you right here. So one side has quarter inch out, one side has eighth inch stereo. So that's what you do, okay? Now, if you're going into an iPhone, you absolutely, this is where, uh, this is where, um, let's say, the headset buddy would come in, okay? Then you would take your headset buddy. I keep losing the headset buddy. You take your headset buddy, 
and you'd come, so you go out of your mixer, right here, okay? Well, I'll just do it. Let's just do it. I'll just do it. Out of the mixer, and then you come out of the mixer, you take your headset, buddy, and you plug it in. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Right there. And then, look, the headset, buddy, has three rings on it, okay? So that goes straight into the iPhone. Now, let's say you have the iPhone that has only this little USB type lightning. I think called lightning. Then you have to go to the lightning, okay? You have to go three in to the lightning. Now, just for your information, this lightning port, this little white part, is, th is three rings. It's tip, ring, ring, sleeve, okay? Tip, ring, ring, sleeve. And that's, that's hard to understand. Maybe I, can, maybe I can show you up close. Okay, let me see. See that? That is tip, tip, ring, ring, sleeve. That is, that is what goes into this little white thing to go into an iPhone. Now, if you're on an Android, I assume, if you're on an Android, I assume you can just take this little piece and plug it right in. And that is the headset, buddy. Now, why couldn't you, okay, why couldn't you just take this little thing, you take this and plug it into your mixer, right? Plug that in your mixer. Why couldn't you take this and plug it right into why couldn't you plug that right in? Because it's tip, it's tip ring, ring, it's tip ring sleeve. It's not got the three little things. It's just got the, just a basic eighth inch cable out. That's why the headset buddy w is helpful. Also, the headset buddy does attenuate, which means it turns down the volume. You don't want to blow out your input on your iPhone. Now that's that's all the cables. Okay, so the best thing you can do is get a cable that goes into eighth inch stereo, quarter inch to eighth inch stereo. That's the best cable you can get right there. That's your first start. Or if your board has RCA outputs, get the cable that has RCA outputs to eighth inch stereo. Then, then you're gonna wanna just get a headset, headset buddy, because I think that's the best cable to do this. That's the one I've had the most luck with. And uh, if you don't have a headset buddy and you just wanna gamble, you could just get this little SC3 adapter from Rode, okay? And so what I have is a whole bunch box of adapters. And how I test this is, and this is what you're gonna have to do, this is what I said in the front, you're gonna have to figure it out. You get all your adapters ready, and you come out of the output of your mixer, okay? So out of the output of your mixer would be uh, right here, left, right, out. This is the left, right, out of my mixer, okay? Uh, my mixer has several outs, but out of the left, right, out mixer. And then you're gonna go into your phone, okay? Then you're gonna go into your phone and you're going to test it over and over again. You're gonna write scenario. That's what I had to do. I mean, I had to like, this one goes into this one and that one. You test it and once you get it, just remember it and keep it. Okay, this into this into that, done. Uh, the best app that I found on iPhone is called Boss Jock Junior. And it's, uh, you know, it's just, it's basically just a little app that basically lets you, um, it says it's reinstalling. It lets you see the audio input, okay? Because a lot of these apps don't have an audio meter. So the two that I will suggest is Boss Jock Jr. I know that's only for iPhone. And then the other one is Film Mic Pro. Film Mic Pro is, uh, or f is it Film Mic Pro? Film Mic Pro, yeah, Phil, Phil Mic Pro. F-I-L-M-I-C Pro, okay? And this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like here. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. Phil Mike Pro. Looks just like that. That is the app that I absolutely suggest because Phil Mike Pro, even though it might be like five bucks or nine bucks, it actually has an audio meter on the actual app. So when you're looking at the video, there's an audio meter jumping up on, and, and then you can see how loud your audio is. Is it coming in? Is it coming in loud? It's coming in soft. That is, that is the absolute key to this whole entire thing. Input level is key. That's the most important thing. So when you get into this Film Mic Pro app and you give it all the permissions, okay, it's saying give me permission to do all this stuff. This is annoying. But once you get into the app, you're gonna allow once and notify allow continue. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by the audio meter. <laughs> Bam, it's beautiful, this is beautiful. All right, look at this, audio meter. Um, you'll see it on the side there, jumping up and down. Bam, bam, bam. Hello, 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 hello. Now you see it's right up there. You want to get your you want to get your audio levels way up there, okay? Bam, 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 bam. They're on the side. Okay, so that that is 
Film Mic Pro. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so that is a fantastic app because now you can see the audio input level. If you cannot see the audio input level, then you're you're out. You you're never going to get this right. Uh, you're going to be trial and error all the time. So my suggestion to you is to get the audio input level to do this right. Get Film Mic Pro, and if you can't get that on Android, just go on Google and Google app like Film Mic Pro for Android or video app with audio meter for Android. So that is, those are the things that you need. And then when you come out of your mixer, so a lot of people, are, this is what we're live streaming our music, we get all the mix going. So you put all the mix in here and you get all the mix right the way you want it. And then you got your output level over here on your mixer. You're coming out of your output into your little uh, things and you're going into your iPhone. And that's how you can actually see and hear good audio for Facebook. Do you have questions? If you have questions, let me know. There is trial and error, but you do have to you do have to spend a little bit of money, so don't be a super cheap cheapazoid, okay? Spend a little bit of money, get a couple cables, and get the app, and then problem solved, complete problem solved. If you don't do those things, it's, it's gonna be hard to do. So spend 15, 20 bucks, buy a cable, you know, get the right app, and then, you know, test out, test and test and test. That's my biggest thing, test, test, test. Everybody I've talked to, on the comment section of the other one, it's mostly like, I can't get this to work, I can't do this to work, I can't. All you have to do is just keep trying the different cables until one of them works. So get the uh, headset buddy, get the SC3 road thing, and make sure you have the right cable coming out of your mixer, and you'll do it. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions because this is awesome, it's gonna be fun, and uh, let me know exactly what you think. Give me your questions. I'll try to answer them the best that I can. God bless you. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe and also share it because you know, even though your friends might think you're nerdy for trying to do this, somebody else is gonna be like, dude, that's brilliant. See you in the next video.